Hey friends, so I've got another episode here for you. Um, this one's using the same save file, uh, the sandbox save file as Project Darklight, um, but we're not necessarily doing anything with Murph today. Um, we are fooling around with the warp coils and the um, anti-gravity functions, uh, so you know it goes along with that particular uh, campaign that I'm running, so um, yeah, anyway. Uh, the project uh, that we're doing today is based on a challenge by Free th that Freethinker posted. Uh, Freethinker being the awesome dude that maintains uh, this awesome, awesome mod and keeps adding all sorts of cool stuff to it. Um, yeah, so the idea is get to Mun using uh, just anti-gravity. No thrusters, no rockets, no RCS, no solar sails, no um, catapults. <laughs> Um, no getting out and pushing, um, just the anti-gravity mechanics. Not even turning on the warp drive itself uh, for FTL travel, um, just just exotic matter charging, um, causing the anti-grav effect and moving us. Um, so I'm showing you right here the, the vessel that we're going to use. Um, this vessel, I don't make any changes to it after, after we're done building here, um, so in everything that you see it's this thing right here uh, once it's finished and then like no changes made okay uh, I do take make use of a uh, quick save because I, I once I get there I kind of try a few different approaches to the challenge um, using quick save like a, a specific spot in a quick save um, to redo it because honestly it was very time consuming just getting there <laughs> uh, it, ta it takes a little while um, to do that and time accelerating you can't do the um, actual time acceleration you can only do physical time acceleration you know the the plus four or whatever the four arrows so um, it, it took a while so I got to it I tried this a bunch got to a certain spot quick saved it and then made my multiple attempts from that point um, and you'll be able to see you know it's the same vessel it's just you know I'm just quick loading and cutting out the loading screen for you so you don't have to wait um, this is pretty much it right here uh, so we're gonna go with um, a name here in a moment, but first I gotta finish up a few final little touches. Um, a lot of this is just way overkill, way over engineering. It doesn't need to be anything near this. Um, I just felt like making this. I was a little inspired. Uh, I wanted to call the ship Medea, you know, um, from you know Jason and the Argonauts, that whole play and all that stuff. Uh, Medea was you know the, the the goddess, like granddaughter of Helios or something like that. Yeah, so I felt it appropriate uh, to name this one Medea, and an Argonaut is actually like a floating cephalopod. It's like an octopus with like a pouch around it, um, and it like floats and stuff. Um, so it's really cool looking. <laughs> um, so this is actually what you know one of those things looks like, but I figured I'd base the design you know with that as like kind of what I was thinking of. Um, I don't know how successful I was in making something cool looking or whatever, but it actually works ish. So yeah, you'll get to you'll get to see it. Um, I threw um, like a couple things on here that don't actually matter, um, namely that thing, the uh, the laser transmitter thingy. Um, didn't actually need that, nor did I need the uh, the hydrogen liquid hydrogen tank that I put underneath of it. But I figured if I needed, you know, just a little spare hydrogen. Um, it doesn't really matter how much this thing actually weighs. Um, it's it's a it's a flying brick, so or flying cephalopod, except it's got way more than eight legs if you count the radiators as limbs or whatever. I don't know. I'm rambling. Point is, this thing is weird and it's going to do the job, and you don't need nearly anything like this to actually do what I'm going to do here. I just enjoy over engineering stuff in sandbox mode because it's fun and you know fun so anyway we're gonna get to the moon using this thing once we launch uh, you can fast forward I'm gonna, I got timestamps like somewhere in um, like the comments or the description one or the other wherever they end up <clears throat> and you can just use that to navigate to all the interesting parts uh, but we're gonna launch right here <laughs> 